guessing. Assuming. Assuming. You know what assuming means? Un it means you're not correct. So we're going straight to Smashville. Corin versus We Fit Trainer. Now this is actually something we did see earlier in the winner's bracket. Numbers ended up taking the set in a, a two to one fashion. Um, but it was definitely a, like, a very close set in which he was down for the majority of it. And he just made an incredible comeback right at the end. Ooh, nice spacing that down here coming from Numbers. Tried again with the back air as well. Way too low percent for that to actually send him anywhere, but still just taking on some additional free damage. And that pin is just so difficult a lot of time for um, a character like Reef trying to do, deal with. For Reigns, obviously being pretty mediocre beyond that Sun Salutation. Option just go for the deep breathing instead. I mean, we saw Frozen chilling on that platform, expecting John to recover high, but literally John can stay off stage for as long as he wants, so there's really no reason for him to just like stand there. Going for the roll. That was such a great trap set up from John Numbers. He threw out the salute to the sun in order to bait out a roll to the right, punishing said roll with a grab. All right, and after um, John has only beaten Frozen once in the past year, I believe, besides today, um, He's actually looking very good in the matchup. He's looking like very consistent in how he's ledge trapping and how he's just forcing uh, Frozen to shield a whole lot of the time. Okay, again, we see him sending off the soccer ball, expecting Frozen to fall down. Obstacle for the double jump instead, putting him at a pretty dangerous 125% damage. John's looking for an opening. I like how he ran in, just baited out the grab and rolled backwards, trying to play safe. Barely outspacing that. Try to get hit by the Dragon Fang shot. DI left to avoid it. Has an edge guard opportunity, but Frozen retaliating instead. Right, and Korn is a fairly heavy character, the same weight as Mario, in fact. So she does live a whole lot of stuff a lot earlier than you may expect uh, in comparison to her Fire Emblem counterparts. They're usually all a little bit lighter. Nice, again, we have another trap set up coming from Frozen, baiting, uh, sorry, John Numbers, baiting out the double jump, punishing the landing with a grab. Oh, and what a great paper grab by Numbers, and up throw. Oh, he just off the triple pummel once more, but wow, knowing that Frozen was going to pin and have lag afterwards, Numbers immediately neutral being to get the punish. <laughs> I love that Hello? by Numbers. I love that. Numbers just like waited for him to not choose any option and just like immediately upbeat into it. I'm telling you, man, John Numbers can stay off stage for as long as he wants. It's really it's just like he wants to come to me. I am going to outplay you until you take the stock off the stage, which is so difficult to do because he really just makes you choose one option, and if you commit to it, he punishes it, and if it's or if it's the wrong option anyway, he if you commit to it, you punish it, or he punishes it. So. Wow, just smacked him nice. with is, the back air. That is the Samsora versus AC, um, where he just kind of sat on the platform and watched his own demise happen. Trying to punish that landing, but Numbers again just chilling off stage. Obviously get back to center stage, tries to catch him with the dragon lunge, but for, the Numbers is just gonna punish that roll with a grab. Again, he's throwing out some back airs against the edge of the stage, expecting John to jump up into it. And John has been so consistent at catching the jump out of shields from Frozen, throwing stun citations right on time so that he does get that strong punish of 18%. Ooh. Numbers is back on stage, gets the double power shield afterwards. And Numbers back at that 0%, healed a whole lot off the stage and um, with the sun salutation. Try to get that third swing off of the jab. Numbers back on the edge of the stage. It could have been a possible opening for a forward smash from Frozen, but didn't want to commit. Nice, catching the re-grab of the ledge. And the soccer ball trying to force Frozen onto the platform a little bit further off, but Frozen leans all the way in on that gray stick to get himself back to center stage. Ooh, again, throwing out the salute to the sun. Try to get that combo into a back air. It was a little bit too slow to the trigger. Here we go, forward air conversions for days, putting him at 44%. And then you have to know what um, Frozen is going to be looking for once John does put himself on that ledge. That instant pin going to be coming out very fast for him at this percent range. Again, just a bunch of aerials coming from Frozen, trying to catch all the jumps coming from John. Here we go, trying to catch him with that forward smash, angled downwards. Right, not the pin that I was thinking. But the pin that almost ended up working out for Frozen, we may potentially see that again in the near future. And you'll see John Numbers spawning, 
constant barrage of soccer balls on the edge of the stage. Corona just trying to bait out his opponents. Gets grabbed out of the sal salutation. And you saw right there, Corona actually was able to dash under and grab because it lowers her hurt box so much under that sun salutation, which is what ended up giving Frozen that stock and the game. And you know, John was playing pretty well that entire game. Like, I felt like he was going to take that easy. He took away the first stock from Frozen was pretty much in control until the very last bit there where Frozen made this huge, mounted a strong comeback against him. And going to the game number two, I do believe John, we are going right back to Town and City. We've been seeing a whole lot of Town and City today in general. It's, that's, you know, man, I, I'm used to seeing Town and City all the time at this tournament series. It's because we understand. It's the best stage. It is the no, best stage. I, I agree, I agree. People explode. Stage. That's what we want. Huh. Um, nice little up throw into the upper right numbers, 22%. Um, a solid start by him, and putting Corrin in the air is never a bad idea. While she's not awful in disadvantage per se, just because that nair is so good on landing, um, Numbers does have the option to cover it with Sun Salutation. I wanted to mention that John literally stood still for about 10 seconds there, and got so many punishes off of it. He, yeah, a lot of times Don just like wait. I mean, he's not, not necessarily always on the ledge. He's just like even on the stage, just kind of look at you funny until you come to him. Ooh, falling down with that down air doesn't get the pick up afterwards. Now down air, surprisingly enough, despite the way it looks, has a whole, uh, not a whole lot of end lag. So number, a lot of times it's why numbers ops like hit the soccer ball with it, or even hit his opponent with it to try and get a follow-up afterward. Oh, we got the trump on deck. But nothing for him to get off of it. Numbers landing the grab, sending oh, him to the left so side. Oh, that's so awful. I'm not sure if you just saw what happened. Um, Sun Citation a lot of the time will just get eaten up by the platforms, which would have definitely hit Frozen as he was coming to the ground right there. And... Um, an unfortunate sort of events for John Numbers. He's gonna have to shrug it off and keep the action going. No reaction from John. He just kind of fell into that aura shot, the dragon thing shot. Ooh, and then oh, the hoops by Numbers. Not gonna be able to hit Frozen out of his up. I think that was why he did it so slow. Again, we see John rolling behind him. Shields the forward smash and gets the free punish afterwards. Fully charged, punishing the double jump with an up air, looking for a second one or to send him to the top of the blast zone. Corrin finds a way in. Frozen has an edge guard opportunity. Again, spacing out those back airs, using the dragon wings to her advantage. Back off stage. And with catches the roll. With the deep breathing, Numbers may have the opportunity with all this rage to get an up throw kill. So he's definitely what he's going to be looking for. But the sun salutation instead on the unsafe side B is still not going to take it from Frozen. <gasps> So I'm talking about the dare right there. Hits the soccer ball with a, not a whole lot of lag. Pinpoint accuracy coming from numbers, just angling that soccer ball towards Frozen. And again, they're, they're trading places now. Freaky Fridays here on the edge of the stage. Tries to get the neutral air, manages to land it. Has him at 109%. He's one side special away from death. And you know Frozen has it in his mind. Here it comes. Ooh, back air instead. Oh, and the up air catching numbers on landing, knowing Weaver Chain is floating, he's gonna keep her in the air a bit longer than you would may, may expect from another character, and he takes full advantage. And Frozen taunted after that kill, too. He, he definitely taunted. He put the helmet on. He's like, I am a dragon. Hear me roar. 174%. Let's see if he can get something going with this rage. Oh, with deep breathing, basically anything will be able to take the stock at this point with the low ceilings and blast zones of town and city. Freaking jab could do it. Maybe. This, at this point, if it puts him in the ground, certainly. Okay, again, he's looking for the back airs off stage. Frozen playing super safe, you know, applying shield pressure and spacing it out wonderfully with his sword, using the disjointed hitbox to his advantage. There we go, again, playing safe, not overcommitting to anything. Side special being the biggest commit that he goes for, and even then he gets so many options out of it. And then an even 200% number six to stop. And he almost lived that too. You saw him like drift into the edge of the stage, so he had something going for him, but John trying to close up the percentages here. 54% on him already. Definitely a scary percent to be at, at Corn. Being that within the next 30%, a Nair up air follow up into a side B potentially could be the end of Numbers Losers Bracket Run. Oh, I like that Dragon Fang shot. It was a good option, but John's going to get the punish on it. There it goes. Nice bait out. He just goes for the Sleep of the Sun. Psych going to come up and grab you instead. That's the thing. You can shield cancel the Sleep of the Sun so fast that Numbers will immediately run up and grab you because the Reef Chainer's run speed is so solid. I'm shielding. Neutral airs again for days. Tries to catch the air dodge with that back air. The numbers ought to do it for a second jab right there. Trying to get another extra confirm off of it. And 
we've been seeing after a very strong start from Frozen. Um, numbers with a very uh, game three set one between these two in this tournament esque um, scenario. <gasps> Town tilt? Not an option you see from numbers. Generally speaking, Reef Trainer's tilts um, some of the worst that she has, besides Ref tilt, obviously. Um, but numbers working for him right there. And up throw. This could be big for Frozen. Tossing him almost to the blast, but he manages to land one more grab. He could easily take this stock, 122 to 119. We see again Frozen trying to space out these back airs. Ooh, John gets a read on. He gets a roll on the read, tossing him off stage, sitting at 140%. A possible edge guard opportunity for him. He's trying to space out that up air so badly, but Frozen opens him up with the down tilt instead. He's got an edge guard. Wants the grab so badly yeah this absolute last hit basically anything at this point from both players and the back air into the ground from frozen will take this i don't know what that handshake was that was we call it the john numbers salty handshake this is like did you get an instant replay on that handshake devin yeah you know i caught it uh, thank god because i want to i want to like if i examine uh, that in slow air. motion let's watch that again uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh no, that wasn't God salty. Like. That wasn't salty. That was just him trying to go for the fist bump, and, and numbers hit him with the paper beats rock, and yes. it was just over. All over. Numbers hit him with the rock. No, though. Yeah, no numbers lost. He's like, I, yeah. I, I am. That's what I'm saying. Frozen one. No, yeah, I, yeah. God I'm like. signifying that I lost, and hence I am putting the rock into your paper. I think that's what numbers is going for there. What's up, guys? Hit that follow button. <laughs> hit that follow.